Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope uh, everyone had a wonderful holiday season. I know we have a couple of more days till the first, but um, I wanted to do a reading for, you know, for the earth signs today. So I've got um, my runes out. I've got some major arcana. I've got some of the enchanted map deck. And I also have some of the uh, native spirit from Denise Lynn. So um, we're just going to jump right in here, guys. Oh, and I have brought my angels with me. My angel heart with me. And we're going to do raising consciousness, guys. So um, let me uh, just begin here. So what we've got here this morning, guys, is we've got, um, <clears throat> we have got, um, I just had another deja vu. Guys, I've been having deja vu. Does anyone, has anyone else been having deja vu, like, constantly for the past week? I've had one or two days where it was like every time I turned around, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. So either little psychic dreams coming about or either, um, 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 you know, let me know I'm on the right path. Guys, it's just been crazy <laughs> for the past week. So anyway, so for the earth size, what we have right off the bat with the runes is we have path of destiny and breakthrough. So I feel like a lot of us... Um, a lot of the Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus signs, I feel like a lot of people are starting to um, see changes and see breakthroughs in the way that they are picking up energy, sensing energy, um, hearing their, your angels, your ancestors, passed on loved ones. Um, psychic mediumship seems to be something that seems to be also another thing. Um, maybe some protectors of some passed on loved ones that haven't been able to speak to some of their um, family members or because, um, you know, guys, a while back I did a reading of, and I think it was for Earth Signs, about a um, a spirit that was locked in a house, a passed on loved one of somebody that was locked in a house waiting to be released. And I feel like there are, you know, spirit guides and angels and uh, lineage angels and everything coming in and wanting to let... Some people that their higher power or their their um, um, higher self know about people that need help in different places. So I feel like a lot of people are going to have these new gifts come in, new um, um, spiritual help coming in that is going to bring you messages on the astral level, bring you um, um, new messages um, in your dreams. I feel like a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of. Guys, I don't know if y'all heard that. We just had to have a knock on the ceiling. Been getting a little bit of that here lately too. Um, guys, they, they are they're talking so much on the on the astral level to a lot of people, and it's going to bring a lot of breakthrough because a lot of people are going to start seeing more and more signs and synchronicities, having more of your 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 pass on loved ones come through, or you'll be someone that gives messages to other people. Uh, there's just I just feel like there's going to be a lot of more energy. Uh, coming in the, in the coming months, a lot of breakthroughs, a lot of um, stuff coming in for people that is meant to to guide you, help you, help other people, whatever the case may be. Just a lot of breakthrough on the process of self change. Okay, and then the next thing they gave me was they gave me reverse movement. I feel like some of you right where you're at is where you need to be. You know, we we've been getting for a while messages about a lot of people moving around. Um, uh, moving to different places. A lot of people are, you know, guys, there's so many things, especially here in the States, a lot of things going on that um, are going behind the scenes that a lot of people are moving. But I feel like a lot of you are also going to have a lot of changes where you are at. Okay. Um, take that how it resonates. Um, some of you may be going, well, I'm moving anyways. And so maybe that, you know, um, or maybe some of you are staying right where you're at because that's where you're starting to have get the messages in okay so we then have rewards for your efforts and guys i've been hearing lots of getting messages about lots of meditation 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 and honestly there are a lot of ways to meditate out there so whether you focus on a candle or you do some guided meditations um I myself am getting ready to start doing a couple of those and also doing some research on um just trying to figure out um how to how to um do different kinds of things with energy and i think other people are doing the same thing okay because we got the rewards for the efforts right going into the future 
Okay, so I feel like a lot of people are, you know, I'm are doing the same thing, looking for different ways and things, information out there, especially if you feel like you're a newbie and you're getting messages, because then we have completion of beginnings. Okay, we have going through a portal, and I just feel like they've been telling me that a lot of people are going through these portals, are starting to see the signs and synchronicities and know exactly what they are. Okay, and with that breakthrough in the process of self change and going through portals. That a lot of people, I think, the, you know, the world, the world, the energy between the worlds is thin, and just seems like a lot of people are starting to experience more. Okay, and they've been telling me, yes, that is true. Okay, so then, guys, we also get Soe Lu, um, and um, Soe Lu is the sun. It means success. It means wholeness. So for some of you that you have new, you have in your new gifts come in, it's going to be very illuminating for you. Or if you have, you know, one gift that's starting to open up more, okay, you're going to have more success with it. You're going to feel more energetic. You're going to hear your messages more. And you're going to have a lot of um, illumination and success opening up around how you perceive messages from people or from your past on loved ones, your angels, your ancestors. Okay. And the reason why I say that is because then we have signs and synchronicities and I, signs and synchro synchronicities. And I think a lot of people are starting to get new messages. Okay. From their spirit guides, their ancestors on the astral plane. Um, I think a lot of people are meeting other people that, that, you know, you're having that divine spark, okay? I also think that there's been a changing, I call it the changing of the garden, but I feel like new energies are coming in to help guide us. Rather, you're um, getting messages from these new spirit guides or angels revolving around passed on loved ones from um, um, ancestors, whatever the case may be. It just feels like there's new energies coming in, more, just more. I keep hearing more and more and more. So more things coming in, guys, that are going to spark you, okay? And then we've got going from the microchism to the macrochism. More people are going to be, okay, the way they're trying to explain this to me is, Going from the microchism to the macrochism, right? But it's also talking about mankind in general, evolution, evolving. And some people are feeling, what are they saying? A heightened of spiritual gifts, specific ones that might actually start you off on a new journey. Okay. That's what they just said to me. Okay. So some of you who thought that you were um, going to do one thing. You're actually, on your spiritual journey, you're actually going to have another door open up as we go into the future. because And they're going to change you up on what you're doing. And you're going to be listening more and getting the messages and trying to figure out how to move within that new energy coming in. Okay? Because we got the breakthrough also on um, self-change here. Also, guys, Algus to me is always talking about... Um, Praying and getting, maybe getting new wishes coming in. But I feel like they're talking on this, that you're going to be getting new messages from these new spirit guides and angels. That's going to put you at a crossroads or either um, have more, what am I trying to say? Um, more, somebody just tried to say something. I can't quite pull it in, guys. Um, but, I, okay, so you'll have new associations with your new messages, new relationships with the new spirit guides coming in? Yes. Okay, which is going to bring some kind of, some elemental disruption because you may not get the messages the way you're supposed to. They may come in a different way. Okay. Which is going to bring you through the portal and be changed in some... It, oh, 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 okay. So it's going to be the ending of one phase of your spiritual journey and starting on a new phase of your spiritual journey. Thank you, guys. Thank you so very much. I'm so very grateful for that. Okay? Because they were just pointing out the world card to me. Because, guys, I did pull some tarot on this. Okay? So, then they're saying that now with this new spiritual attainment that you're going to get, that where, you're, where your, your um, gifts are going to expand, you're going to be on a different kind of a journey than what you thought you were going to be. 
but it's still on your spiritual path, you're on your destiny, with a lot of more travel or a lot of more journey on your soul's growth, on your soul's path or your higher self. Some of you may resist this, they're saying. But they're saying they're going to help you through it. Guys, take that how it resonates. Okay. Um, I just heard the name Ida. Okay. And then we've got, this is going to bring some new birth in your gifts and how you go into the future. But you're... Ancestors and your angels are going to have your back. Which is going to bring in a lot of joy once you start being able to help people on your journey. And it's going to bring a lot of illumination, a lot of... Because keenness is, is an opening, an illumination, a torch. Some of you are going to... Be lighting the way for others that aren't quite sure where to go. And they're going to help you with that. Guys, take that how it resonates. There's, there's going to be some change on that. Um, and there will be movement. Okay. Uh, anyway, take it how it resonates, guys. Um, okay. So, let me see. They said, hang on, guys. Um, Steve, Mary. Ida. Paul. Vincent. Um... Uh, I don't know, guys. They were just throwing a couple of names at me. Anyway, um, so then um, what I asked with this opening, I'm starting on this new journey. I said, what other extra other little messages would they like you to know? So they're talking about going into this future, okay, um, and learning some new things along the way to do with these new gifts coming in, especially for those of you that are like psychic mediums, as your gifts start coming in, okay, they're saying you're going to build a new foundation to work from, and it's not going to be, because we got relief from distress in Perth is the last two rooms, they're saying that as you start off on this new journey, yet the same journey, it's not going to be, a, it's not going to be, it's not going to be hidden. You're not. You're going to understand it as you go along. Some of you will have be by yourself to do this. Others of you will get messages through the dream, through your dreams, to tell you how to proceed. They're just saying, make sure you meditate a lot, cleanse your area. Guys, there's a couple of them talking to me one time, and I, I'm not really sure what they're trying to say. Something about kids. I don't know. Okay. All right, guys. So then I um, take it how it resonates, guys. <laughs> it's like really, really subtle this morning. But the other thing was, too, is I pulled... I asked, I asked about um, pulling some tarot on this, and it normally doesn't have them, but my, one of my um, person cards was in my main, main arcana, so I started to take her out, and they said, no, this is, this queen of swords is representing what, uh, male or female, doesn't matter, what, where some of you are at right now, okay, guys, and they're saying that you're at a place where um, you're kind of in between of how your gifts, you're going to use them going into the future. And they're saying it's going to require a little more intellectual thought and a little bit less emotion as you go through these this portal they're talking about and come out on this other side going into the next couple of months. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. But they're saying with the chariot card coming up, they're saying this is your destiny. 
you are on the right path. Your ancestors and your angels and even a couple of ascended masters have your back. And they will be sending you messages for you. Okay? And spirit guides as well. So your spiritual counselors are going to be talking to you more. Because they are calling you. with Now that your spiritual gifts have come in. They really want you to do something different. Um, but it's still within the same realm. So it's not really different. But they're asking you to use your gifts in a different way. Because we have the judgment card here. With the angels and ancestors. And your spiritual counselors are saying. We, okay, we, we know what your gifts are now. And we know where you're at. And rather you're either traveling to another place. Or staying in the same place. Wherever you are. We're going to send you the, the messages for however you're supposed to help people be accessible to people and they're pointing out opening up your third eye and again and now they're pointing guys they're pointing out this is the algas and messages sit from heaven they're saying so guys they're saying it's going to be a little bit more subtle but they're saying that they are going to be sending you the messages to messages to messages to talk to talk to the dead really to talk to the dead or to bring messages through your third eye and on the dream because the water they're saying is represent like your dreams And you will be open to receive. They're saying this is representing. This is representing the spirit guides bringing the messages. This is representing the people that are passed on. If you're a psychic medium. Or passed on um, loved ones that are trying to help you. Take that how it resonates guys. Okay. So then we had the full card. And they're saying this is where you're starting off on a new part of your journey. Um, they're saying there's going to be a lot of birth, a lot of growth. Guys, they're pointing out that the clouds are pink here. So I don't know, um, because I never noticed that before, that these clouds had a pink tinge to them. I don't know what that means. I think they're talking about passed on loved ones and angels and your spirit guides helping you. And I think they're, they're saying, don't be scared. You are headed in the right direction. And you are paying attention to the messages that come in. And that... Okay. Okay. Okay, so guys, um, they're saying that the tower here is representing not living your life in the same way that you were before. Because things are going to start coming in faster and faster. And they're just waiting for you to hear the messages more. And going through this portal on the other side... And that you're not going to be able to live your life in the same way that you were before. And you're not going to be no longer concerned about the past. They said, we're going to guide you where you need to go. And you're going to have a, you're going to help a lot of people. And that your psychic gifts are actually going to open up even more. You're going to feel like you're on fire, they're saying. Okay. And they're going to be right there with you. Guys, take it how it resonates, okay? So the next thing we have, um, I asked about the journey as you go along, okay, guys? And the first thing they gave me was wide open. You are going to be, for, this card's talking about going through this new, you know, starting on this new journey and now being wide open. See all this light around her, guys? They're talking about hearing these messages come in, rather it's as a psychic medium or however, in whatever way you're going to be of service, that you are going to be the spiritual help for people going into the future you're going to bring in a lot of light to help people they're saying do protect your energy and that for those of you that are progressing on this newer journey with your newer abilities being sharpened that a lot of people are going to come to you on your journey. They will be seeking you out because of your light. They say, they're saying this is going to be over a process of a little bit of time, but you are going to grow. You are going to put down roots with this and sprout, and you are going to be able to help people and you will have them as your backup. They're, 
pointing out the fairy down here. They're saying some of you may have earth spirits come in to help you. Higher intuition. A lot of soul growth. And you becoming... Some of you becoming the person who helps light the way for people, spirits and, and, and pass on lovers on the other side to make connection with the people here. The people still here looking for answers and stuff. Guys, take that how it resonates. They're saying some of you are going to have to set your intention for this. Okay. Bloom where you're planted. Let them guide you. Guys are trying to download something to me right now. I'm just not quite picking it up. But they're just talking about setting your intention, making sure you focus on helping the people. <laughs> because nobody's an island. And let your spirit guides and angels talk through you to bring messages to the people by setting an intention for that. Okay. So the next card comes is into the unknown. So they're saying for some of you that aren't familiar with how these energies are going to work for you, that as you, because they're pointing out this, this sunbeam here, some of you are going to feel like you're in the dark. They're saying if you just meditate and keep your space clear, watch out for Those that would drain you, and guys, I personally had something like that happen recently. They're saying they are going to be there to guide you and help you. And they're saying they're saying this is a this is a new um, the bird is representing some new spiritual counselor members coming in to help you. What does he got right there? Guys, I can't tell if this is a pendulum or a key, but they're pointing that out to me. They're saying some of you may need to use a, your pendulum or your... Oh. Some of you may need to use your key or the pendulum or something that some guys some kind of talisman that you have already in your possession they're saying you're going to need this for you to make the communication from the spirit guides in the past on loved ones to get to the people that need the message which is going to be um not as familiar to you as however you're getting your messages and doing your things now what is this other on here they're saying definitely let your heart lead the way And they're saying you could do this blindfolded as well. As time progresses, it'll get stronger and stronger, and you will more and more know how to help people. Guys, take that how it resonates. Okay. But it's something about this new a new guide coming in, or new spirit guides or angels coming in to help you make bridge the gap between the dead and the living, or the messages on the other side you're supposed to get to the people. And they just keep their saying, lead by your heart, lead by your heart. Okay, so take that how that resonates, guys. I mean, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But then they're saying the magic prayer. They're saying, we have your back. We're around you. All you have to do is listen. Make sure you meditate. Make sure you be grateful. And God, um, uh. So, right before I started this message, guys, right before I hit record, I was sitting here focused in on the candle, and I saw, like, energy kind of pass in the background, okay? And I just brought my angels with me today to put on the, to do the working here. I cleansed everything with my incense. I've got my new herald angel up there. I've got this other new, uh, other angel up over here. I, I cleansed everything, and... They're saying, make sure y'all do that with any kind of service that you do for other people because it will help keep the energy pure around you and it will let some of the newer energies you're not used to working with come in to work with you, 
Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. I literally could see this like energy thing, like like a little energy, you know. Guys, I can't explain it better now. I just saw like this wavering energy between the candle and the wall and the angels just kind of floating through. Okay, guys, so they're saying that I'm not the only one. They're saying there's others of you that have been seeing those, but you're not sure that's what you're seeing. Some of you may be thinking that you are seeing... Um, some of you aren't recognizing that you are seeing them with your naked eye and your third eye. Because you're opening up a channel between them and the divine and you're seeing them more often than what you think you are. See how she's got this, this light right here, guys, and this light right here? They're saying, yes, you are seeing them working around you, but you don't realize that's what's happening. So, guys, they are trying to talk more to you. Okay, so they're asking you to be teachable. And on this card right here, they're saying, this is your, 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 this is the new one coming in. This is the, uh, the other spirit guide or angel that's been with you all this time. They're saying be teachable because this new one is coming in. Okay, they're pointing out this gold energy at the top. Guys, they're talking about this new energy, these new energies, one, two, three, doesn't matter. The old ones are standing, standing there also in the background, watching the new energy come in and waiting for, for, because they're changing out energies. They're saying this new energy coming in is going to, is look, is it may be a little different than what you're used to. You're just going to have to have patience and realize the energy is a lot more subtle than what you think it is and that, but you will know it. And they're pointing out the moon is your intuition and through astral, on the astral realms, the, in the ether, they're saying this is like the ether, and these new guys are coming in, and then, as for some of you, they're already here, you're just not quite hearing them yet, take that how it resonates, guys, okay, they're saying be teachable, okay, be, meditate a lot more, make sure you keep your stuff cleansed, and pay attention to what's, Guys, I've got a spirit guide or an angel like right up by my right ear and they're trying to tell me something, but their energy is so mellow, it's really kind of hard to pick up what they're saying. But they're saying that this is them coming in for a lot of you. You just got to be teachable. Maybe do some more research for yourself. Okay, maybe do some research on psychic mediums or um, spiritual gifts and what that entails. They're saying do a little bit of research and especially on ways you can hear all the clairs so you can try to pull in the messages, guys, Okay. Take that how it resonates. So then I ask about what energies are you going to find when you get there or when you start going through this journey. And guys are talking about Thunder Drum. Everyone's going to receive and perceive it differently. Guys, I actually love this drum thing she's got in her hand. They're saying, but we are bringing in these messages. We are bringing in this new energy. And again, guys, you see how she's standing. They're saying, open up and listen. We are here and we are bringing these messages into you. We are bringing these gifts into you. Oh, guys, they just pointed that out. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. They just pointed this out to me. Look, guys, here we have Algas, right? And she's Algas. And then in the sky here, we've got Gibu. See the lightning is a, that, right? And we got these new spirit angels here. And then, look, guys, and right after that came Gibu. Do you see that? Guys. Oh, gosh, I don't know if I can get the light right. Guys, do you see that? There's Algas. There's her. There's there's the gifts coming in. There's the new spiritual guides. This new this new energy coming in to talk to you, guys. Guys, take that how it resonates. And it is going to be a little. It, it's it's not going to be disruptive like they're talking about. It's like um, it's going to shake things up for you, okay? And you're gonna you're gonna when you go through these these new portals coming up, you're going to be stretching and opening up your energies in a way that you haven't done before. Wow, guys, they're saying, and you'll see it on an intellectual level more more so than a emotional. If you're like, if you're very emotional, like guys, y'all know I'm very emotional. If you're more intellectual person, you're going to see it in a different way than the people that are emotional. Take that how it resonates, guys. That is a message for someone. So then they're talking about the spirit keeper of the South, okay? And they're saying, they're again, they're pointing out transformation. This is those spirit guides coming in through a portal on the psychic realm. Some of you, again, are going to pick up these energies where you're at, and you're going to take them into the future, into... What? You're going to have more... Ooh. 
Okay, so they're putting these together. They're saying, going through a portal, okay? Again, they're, they're, they're kind of talking about the first message, guys, on the runes. But they're saying, as you progress and start getting all these messages and start learning how to work with this a gift that's becoming stronger, you're gonna they're going to be there to help you, but you're going to transform and you're going to pick up more messages on the astral level from the ether as you travel. Guys are showing me again. They're showing me Amy from the Dead Files. They're saying some of you may actually travel. And guys, we've, we've had that message before. Some of you earth signs are going to travel. And I didn't draw the compass card, guys, but that was the one where I got the, the message one time. I don't know if it was air signs. I think it was for the air signs. I got the message that some of you will go to places where you don't realize you're a psychic medium. But when you get there, some spirit or pass on loved one or passed on person is going to find you in a very subtle way and ask for your help. And you're going to do something on an intu intuitive level that will help them either to move on, to be free, they're saying. Aunt Lucy? Aunt Lucy? Who's Lucy? Does somebody know a Lucy or a Lucille? Or loose, L-U-C-E. Maybe I'm not saying it right. Loose or Lucy, Lucille. Lucky, lucky lady. Guys, hang on. They're trying to tell me something. Um, L L L L. I don't know, guys. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, uh, they're trying to tell me an L name, and I can't quite pull it in. It sounded like Aunt Luce or Aunt Lucy or Lucia or even Lucian. Somebody's going to go somewhere. No, I just heard him say no. What? What are you trying to tell me, guys? Something's going to come in in some kind of new way for somebody through a portal, a portal, maybe somewhere in Kansas, because they're showing me, um, through the angels, they're showing me a tornado. So maybe somewhere in Can Tornado Alley is where somebody is being, needing help. They weren't so lucky when a tornado came through and they're, but they're trapped where their house fell apart and they need help there too. So guys, that's a message for somebody that's actually going out there and helping people. Um, take that how it resonates. You'll, you'll, whoever this message is for, you will find the trail somewhere where there's been tornadoes. You will find trails. You will find the trail of the path to go. And when you go through this place, you'll do something that will help somebody that's trying to move on that can't move on. There, Maybe there's, guys, I don't know. There was a house where there was a, hur a tornado or a, hur or a hurricane or some kind of bad weather. They got smushed underneath the house nobody ever came back to the house maybe they were the only person in the house and when the house when they came in and de 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 demolished and cleaned all the property up their spirit got stuck there somehow and they're waiting for somebody to also come and release them that they can talk to for them to go move on because of the way they died or something all right guys take that how it resonates i, I can't pull it in no better than that um, I know that this person is waiting for this to happen, for them to be released. Guys are telling me something about the cars. They're saying they're telling this story here as well. Again, somebody traveling because they're being called to go to a certain place. They wouldn't have gone there originally. And there was some kind of tornado, a hurricane, fire, something where somebody got stuck, stuck. Everybody else, if there was another person, they got out. But someone else got stuck and they died there. And they're just waiting for someone to come help them 
because their energy can't leave for whatever reason. They're waiting for the light. What? They're waiting for the light and the light hasn't come or they need help getting to the light. Lucy. Lucian. Uh, I can't pull the name in. Guys, take that how it resonates. Um... But they're waiting for this person to come help them to go through to get to go through this portal. Guys, that's the second time I've gotten this message um, with the signs. So, um, guys, that's as close as I can bring it in. But they're waiting for someone to come help them with this. All right, guys. Um, this again is for the Earth signs. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, guys, be a light in the darkness. They're waiting for somebody to help them. Someone whose third eye is going to open up. All right, guys. Um, they're still trying to tell me something, and I just can't pull it in. Send me pictures. All right, guys, it's something I guess I'm going to have to work on, too. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you this morning. Guys, be a light in the darkness. If you feel like you're being called to help and you want to help, it's totally within your capability of doing so, okay? All right, guys, be a light in the darkness. Lana Scott Lighthouse for the Earth Signs.